So for today's video, I have this 1987 Briggs and Stratton three horse uh, side shaft engine here. And we're actually going to fix this up, hopefully get it running. So we'll take the filter and the pad off. And I already see an issue. Entirely sure. So it's got a manual choke right here. But that seems really loose. We're going to try and check that gas cap off. Looks like we got another issue. No rust. Do is just check if this thing has spark. Check and see if there's any oil in it. There's oil in it. it needs to be changed. So we've got some starting fluid, chokes off. We got spark, that's good. So we just need to more than likely service this carburetor. It's gonna be easier just to take the carburetor off the side of the engine. You have this bolt up here, your linkages, your linkage, your spring, and then another bolt that's right down in here. So I just broke the torque on it. Comes out pretty easy after that. PCB line off. go. All right, so I just gave this thing a quick and dirty spray down, but we have an issue with the gasket. We're going to have to make one. It's not a huge deal to make it happen. Got this out of the garbage years ago, so we'll just have to cut one to size and go from there. And I've got this gasket for right here. So I'm going to spray this out a little bit. Doesn't look like it needs much. This is a brass wire brush. You want to clean the screen off too. I guess they didn't include the washer with it. One important thing to remember is these are universal gaskets. They work in all sorts of Briggs carburetors that are this similar style. That's why some of them will have an extra hole somewhere, others won't. We're gonna pull out our screw here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna note how many half turns it takes to get this thing out 
because we're going to pull it out and clean it and it's set to a certain level. So about eight and a half turns. This is our fuel metering needle. You just want to make sure that the needle itself is clean and that that little jet in there is clean. It actually looks really clean in here. So all I'm gonna do is shoot some carb spray in it and that'll shoot out of here. Just like that. Very gently. And that's right about where it was. We might adjust that just to see how it runs, see if we can get it to run a little better if it needs it. Now here's the fun part. We have to cut out a new gasket for this. So now just to poke some holes in it. So I got everything all put back together. Got some fuel in her. Camera can't really see that. but we'll be able to pick up some fuel. I did have to do a couple of adjustments. I removed this uh, choke control here completely just because it was getting in the way of the fuel cap. It's actually a newer fuel cap too. So I removed that. All right, so we've got full choke. We're gonna leave the throttle about halfway, about as best as we're gonna get ungrounded. Let's see what happens. There we go. So full choke. One problem that I did notice when I put this thing back on is this is actually the wrong gas tank for this engine. Wrong gas tank or wrong carburetor, one of the two, because these holes don't all match up. It's uh, really annoying actually, but it is what it is. But at least we know this thing runs. Still got some work to do. Well, it's running. A different fuel tank and carburetor. those three uh, bolts to put that cover back on. We're gonna take it back outside and try it out. I was able to bend this a little bit. So the way this works is it's shooting the air off of the fan here, the flywheel rather, and it's pushing up against that. So that's actually what's keeping it at the idle speed. Better. 
So I'm gonna move this spring up to this one. Hopefully that'll make things a little bit better. Much better. throttle response that's for sure it's like I gotta adjust all kinds of things on this got to get this little arm out of the way too it's getting in the way of the spring 